Good day, MFM. Welcome to another lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to look at a bit of Euclidean geometry. Let me encourage you to pause the video, work through the questions to see if we arrive at the same answers. So the question reads as follows. In the diagram below, quadrilateral ABCD, where AB is parallel to CD. So these two line segments are parallel. A is equal to 2X. Angle A is equal to 2X. B is equal to X and angle C is equal to 120 degrees. So the first question wants us to prove that AD is parallel to BC. In other words, this line AD should be parallel to BC. In order for us to prove that AD is parallel to BC, we need to look for co-interior angles between the parallel lines. So in other words, we need to prove that this angle 2x and x are co-interior angles. In other words, they add up to 180 degrees. To prove they add up to 180 degrees, the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the value of x. And by inspection, we can see that this year, these two parallel lines lie between a U-shape. Therefore, these two angles, these two angles are co-interior. This angle and this angle are co-interior because these two line segments are parallel and we have our U-shape. So we can find angle X because we do notice that these two angles are co-interior because they lie in between parallel lines. You can see the U-shape. Here's the U-shape. And these are parallel. So therefore these angles are co-interior and we know their sum is equals to 180 degrees. So therefore Angle B plus angle C should equal to 180 degrees. Angle B is given as X plus 120 degrees should be equal to 180 degrees. Very important to always include the reason. This is called interior angles. So therefore, X should be equal to 60 degrees. So now we have angle X to be 60 degrees. So automatically this becomes 120 degrees because this is twice the size of X. So this angle is 120 degrees and that angle B is 60 degrees. And look what we have now. Look what we have. We have now that the sum of the two, this angle and that angle, 120 degrees plus 60 gives us 180 degrees. So therefore we can say that these two are co-interior and therefore AD is parallel to BC. So proof, that's, that's, that's the proof. The proof is A, angle A and angle B are co-interior interior angles therefore AD is parallel to BC so the second question 4.2 reads as follows what type of quadrilateral is ABCD give a reason for your answer there are six criteria that can be used to prove that a certain quadrilateral is a parallelogram and the most obvious one in this case is it has two pairs of opposite sides. Here's the first pair. And here's the second pair. Second pair. So two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. That's the first condition or the first criterion. To prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So we can say A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. B, 
because AD is parallel to BC and AB is parallel to DC. Notice that angle A, angle A and angle C are both 120 degrees. So opposite angles, opposite interior angles of a parallelogram are equal. That could also be another reason. Thank you so, so much for watching.